So good morning and welcome. My name is Dr. Carlos M. Cotto, Jr., and I am the proud Assistant Superintendent of Innovation, Equity, and Engagement for the Schenectady City School District. We are truly excited to be here today to celebrate the launch of the district's first community schools with the ribbon cutting that we had just a minute ago and the revealing of our um, community school logo here at Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School. Um, what we'll do today is we'll have some speakers and then once our speakers have shared kind of their thoughts as it relates to community schools, we'll transition into a little tour of this particular campus and the, the things that it has to offer as it relates to community schools. Uh, and then you'll have the opportunity to come back into this space and network and get a better sense of our partners, those that are working with us currently, um, and see what they're doing to support our students, our families, and our community. Just to highlight, we have five community schools. This one here is led by Principal Kristen Monrette. Kane, yes. Yeah. Kane Elementary School by Carrie Messler. Carrie can stand so that everyone sees who she is. <laughs> Hamilton, led by Michelle Manners. Woo! If Michelle can stand, so that everyone see who's Michelle. <laughs> Page, led by um, Dr. J, um, John Patrick John Pierre. <laughs> Christy's here to represent. And then Van Corlear, led by Tanya Delamater. I'm going to have Joe DiCaprio here to represent for. I would like to thank our superintendent, Mr. Annabel Soler, and our Board of Education for their continued commitment and support for our students, staff, family, and community. I would also like to thank our partners, our parents, and our community members that are here today, along with our community advisory. Our advisory is about 100 plus individuals from the community that meet with us throughout the course of the year. We meet once a month. And these partners have been extremely committed to this work. And at a minimum, we've got 30 to 40 at each of our monthly meetups. So I wanna thank you all for, for your commitment to this community as a whole. Just to share a little bit about community schools. Community schools are public schools that are partnered with stakeholders to create the conditions students need to thrive and support the overall health and wellness of their community. Community schools fall within four pillars. They lead in collaboration and they build trust among students, educators, families, and the community. They integrate student supports, clinics, counselors, and other services to ensure each and every student is ready to learn. They expand and enrich learning with extended school days, summer programming, and real world experiences. They engage family and the community and partner with residents to identify and meet the needs of their community. The results, everyone can feel safe, welcomed, and involved in their school. Community schools meet not just the academic needs of children, but also their health and wellness needs. Where students can get the glasses and see a nurse, and also receive the social and emotional supports needed so they're always ready and able to learn. A community school acts as a hub where community members can get those glasses or see that nurse as well. Every community school is different because each community is different. And, in figuring, and figuring out what it looks like in Schenectady starts by getting our community members involved. Today, um, as we now transition to some of our speakers, I do wanna highlight some of our partners that are here today that will be providing you with some additional information as it relates to how they're working. And this is just a small number of those partners because we've got many more. Uh, but we have Create Community Studios. We have Sikkim, Girls Inc., YMCA, New Choices Recovery Center, Justice for Orphans, Liberty Church, My Daughters and Me, My Sons and Me, Northern Rivers, Ellis Mental Health, Schenectady County DSS, just to name a few. I would now like to transition over to our superintendent, Mr. Anibal Soler. I'm a little taller than Dr. Cotto, so I get to <laughs> move this up here. He may be small, but he packs a mighty punch. So, uh, Carlos, thank you and your team for your efforts. 
Uh, when I arrived here, one of the first things I saw was a, a wealthy, rich, resourced community. But what I also saw was a disconnect, where we weren't talking to each other, where we weren't focused on better outcomes for our kids and our families. And so for me, I saw this concept of community schools as an initiative that would help bring synergy across Schenectady and help us rise up. And so, you know, I get these great ideas, and then you can charge somebody on your team to do them, right? So, hey, Carlos, I got a great idea for you. And, you know, we've taken that, and we've been real intentional to be uh, strategic and start out kind of small in some of our elementary schools, build these schools up, and the goal would be that eventually uh, we have community schools throughout our city, uh, and they serve as hubs for those various neighborhoods and communities. And that every school offers community school-like things like extended day, summer enrichment, uh, meals, clothing closets, uh, food pantries. Uh, those are the things that make the school kind of the lighthouse for their community. The other thing that I think is really important for me is that these schools don't belong to the Board of Education. They don't belong to me as a superintendent. They belong ultimately to the community. And so when you hear the word community, there's one thing that stands out to me the most, and that's unity. These schools will only rise up to the level that we want as a community, which does mean you got to put a little sweat equity into it. You do got to commit. You can't sit on the sidelines and just criticize or make comments. You got to get involved and get engaged. And that's what community schools is about. We have a seat for you at the table. You want to be a part of the solution. We're here to work with you because at the end of the day, our families win and more importantly, our kids win. And if our kids win, we change the, tra the trajectory and the narrative of what is Schenectady. And so, <laughs> so I know we have some great speakers here. We have some amazing dignitaries here. And you know, that to me shows uh, the power of this work. Because when people give up a little bit of their time to come here to be present, to be a part of it, you know, uh, I'm going to just list some of the people that I know who are here. If I miss you, blame me. Don't blame Dr. Cotto because uh, I was working on this and we kept getting some RSVPs kind of at various times. So I do want to recognize if you're in the room, uh, you are an important piece of this work. Um, and so if uh, Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara, are you in here? Mr. All right, this is represent. All right, thank you for being here. Uh, City Council President Marion Porterfield. I know I saw her. That's right. City Council Member Carmel Patrick, I saw her as well. Thank you for being here. <laughs> County Legislator Omar McGill, my brother, he's out there, I saw him, there he is. <laughs> County Legislator Michelle Osterlich, is it? Yep, there he is. Uh -huh. <laughs> County Legislator Josh Cuomo, there he is. Thank you. <laughs> County Legislator Eric Hess. And if I've missed you, I'm sorry, I was working off our list from last night, so I apologize. But again, I do appreciate you making time to be here. Before I transition to uh, uh, introduce our, our speaker, I do want to recognize uh, two of my board members who are here, my board president and uh, board member Kathy Lewis, who are both here. You can just both be recognized. I have the, the privilege and honor to work with an all-woman board, and they are tough, but they are committed to better outcomes for these community and kids. Um, and so with that, I, I want to transition and introduce Mayor McCarthy, uh, one of the first individuals who reached out to me when I got here in 2021 and said, hey, let's grab a bite to eat. Let's have some coffee. Let's have some dialogue. And since then, he's literally a text away from whatever we need from things like last week, like, hey, how do the roads look? Can I open the schools? Because I think I'm the only one opening, right? <laughs> um, to things like, how do we draw uh, alignment and how do we better use our facilities? Hey, we have a traffic concern. Hey, let's meet with the chief of police. Let's talk to the fire department. How do we support your school? So, you know, I really appreciate having his support and his friendship, his collegiality here as we do this work. He knows that our success as a school system is his success as a mayor. And so we continue to have this dialogue. Uh, I think you owe me lunch this time, but uh, um, so with that, I want to introduce uh, our mayor, Mayor McCarthy.
Thank you, Mr. Superintendent, and it's really a great day for Schenectady. I want to again acknowledge Council President Porterfield, Council Member Carmel Patrick. We also have representatives here from the Schenectady Police Department, Schenectady Fire Department. You guys want to raise your hands there, wave. To <laughs> again, this program, it really looks impressive, and it didn't happen overnight, and it's not just going to end today and say, oh, wow, we've solved all the problems. This requires, as the superintendent pointed out, people's commitment, a little sweat equity, and people giving a little bit where the cumulative effect is going to be far greater than any one individual or organization could do on their own. We have a great school district. It's got a proud history. It's got tremendous diversity. It produces just sheer brilliance that a lot of time gets lost in the lack of messaging. And so this is going to give us as a community an opportunity to open things up, to challenge ourselves, to really create a vision in a transformational engagement that is going to move the Schenectady School District back to the level that it once had a couple decades ago where it was number one in the region, it was number one in the state, and with this team that's in place today, there's no question in my mind that that's gonna happen. So I thank everyone. I thank everyone that's been here, or is here today, the ones that have participated in the past, and when you leave here today, you have business contacts, you've got neighbors, you've got family, other ones, get that message out. We need everybody to step up and contribute a little bit to make sure that this is a total success. Thank you, have a great holiday season and look forward to working with you. Thank you, Mayor McCarthy. Uh, before I transition and introduce our next speaker, I do wanna recognize a couple other uh, partners that I saw in the audience. And again, I apologize, I know I'm gonna still miss people I want to thank Dr. Muno for being here, uh, SUNY Schenectady Community College President. When we talk about community schools, that's what Dr. Muno uh, embodies. He literally opened up his campus for our high school kids to attend an early college high school. And people don't know that. We have 100 students right now that are on track to earn their associates while they also graduate at high school at the same time. I also want to uh, recognize uh, one of our strong advocates, Janice Rouse from NAACP here. Thank you for being here. So I'm going to uh, transition to uh, my boss, or one of my seven bosses, uh, my board president, uh, former educator here in Schenectady, always a teacher at heart. She bleeds uh, red, white, and blue for Schenectady. Uh, she's a strong, strong, strong woman of color, Latina, uh, really proud of her heritage. Uh, doesn't really want to talk to me about anything else but schools and the success of our schools. Um, you know, I get a couple things like, hey, how are you doing, every once in a while. Um, but she, she, she's the real deal. And so um, she follows, obviously, Kathy's footprint as board president, continuing that legacy of strong uh, leadership. And so to bring us some remarks, I want to welcome our board president, Bernice Rivera. Many of you who know me, I have a lot of energy, so you're going to feel a lot of energy here. So good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I am thrilled and honored to be here on this very cold, wintry day or morning with all of you. Being in the presence of all of you, my community, your community, our community, is warming to my heart and soul. We are a powerful and mighty city, dedicated to provide the best for our students and our families. And on behalf of the board, we thank you for your motivation and partnership to work on this critical endeavor. We are grateful for everyone's passion and commitment to this impactful initiative. I would like to end with a quote from an unknown author. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. You all have shown that passion. 
that commitment. And we are so, so blessed to have every single one of you. It's not easy all the time, right? But we're doing it together. Thank you so much, gracias, from the bottom of our heart. Thank you, uh, Board President. So I'm gonna leave the podium here. I'm gonna hand this back over to Dr. Cotto to uh, introduce some of the other folks who are critical lovers in this work. But what I do wanna say is this, and I wanna echo what the mayor said. We're just starting this work. All right, we're gonna have to continue it. We're gonna have to revisit it. We're gonna have to take some steps back, maybe make some adjustments. Um, so I do offer, I, I do want us to extend grace to us as a school system, because guess what, guys? We don't always get it right. We make mistakes, okay? But the one thing that drives me every day is the question of how are the children? And if we can keep that at the forefront of everything we do, then I think we're gonna be okay. And so thank you all for coming, making time out on your busy Wednesday morning to be here. Uh, we're not done yet. Dr. Cotto is gonna come up and introduce a couple other people who are uh, community engagers, community levers for you. Uh, I'll be around for comments. I wanna thank our partners as well. Sikkim has been with us it's from day one, I know Amadi's not here, but he sends his best time. Um, I know, I, it, it, where is he? Oh, I, he must have stepped out on me, okay. Mr. Zuckerman, I wanna thank him as well. He's coming at my door banging for some resources. There's many of you guys who are out here. Um, and you know, I just really, really want you to understand that collectively, there's nothing that can stop us. But if we allow these silos to take in, whether they're political or whatever reasons you wanna fall into, then we lose focus. And so if we stay focused on those beautiful faces right there, we're gonna be all right. So thank you guys again. I'm not as tall as he is, so. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Superintendent Solaire. Um, as we transition, you know, th this work happens with multiple stakeholders, multiple champions within our community. And we have two dynamic individuals, one who's a product of our district um, that leads this work as coordinators of community schools. So with that said, I'd like to introduce Kayla Mbizi and Ryan Williams. We talked about sweat equity and I'm up here giving it, right? Yeah. But I got my power bracelet from India, so I think, I'm be able, I think I'll be able to do this all right. Good morning, and thank you all for being here on such a momentous occasion for Schenectady City School District. I'd like to start by sharing a quote by James Baldwin that says, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced, right? And look at this. How amazing is this, right? A need for change has been identified, and we're all here facing it together. The community school model is one that's been around for 30 years in New York State. It's a proven and time-tested strategy that strengthens community through intentional partnerships and dedicated champions within the school district staff. The district has been working on the design, development, and implementation of community schools since the last school year. A community school serves as a central hub for resources and support such as food, clothing, health care, after school care, employment, housing, and overall child well-being. It takes a collaborative, community-wide approach to successfully implement community school strategy. In June, more than 80 community organizations came together to learn about how they can partner with the district in this work. The district and our partners are pleased to unveil the launch of the five community schools. Over the past several months, we have been working with numerous agencies in our community to grow and strengthen partnerships and collaborate on how we can more effectively and efficiently serve our students, our families, and our community as a whole with a strong focus on equity. We have created extended day learning at our schools where students can stay as late as 6 p.m. to engage in academic support and different enrichment opportunities. Students involved also are served snacks and a warm dinner before leaving program daily. We have reduced food insecurity by partnering with Sikkim to service our students and families with mobile food pantries located at our community schools on a bi-weekly basis. And we continue to work with partners to plan for future programming in the areas of the arts and financial literacy. 
We also continue to seek partners in the fields of medical care, dental care, vision care, and mental health care to collaborate with us to meet the needs of our students, families, and the creator community by creating satellite clinics within our schools or a mobile clinic to service these needs right here where our students are and our families are. We are very excited to continue this work and look forward to growing our partnerships within this community. This is Schenectady Rising. Okay, as we transition, I do want to recognize a few other individuals. Uh, County Legislator, Mr. Fields, if you can, there we go. And then United, uh, United Way CEO, Peter Cannon. We, we are working with United Way on some big plans, so just to share, you know, we, we are kind of partnering and doing some, some great, looking to do some great work moving forward. Um, so I shared our champions as it relates to the, co the coordinators that lead this work, but in order for community schools to be successful, it requires a champion in the building. And that champion is the building principal. We've kind of, I, I shared all of the five that are leading this work across the five schools that we've identified. Um, but with that said, I want to introduce Kristen Monrette, the principal here at Martin Luther King Jr., to share a few words. I'm shorter than everybody. <laughs> Not you, India, but I'll, uh, I'll help you out. <laughs> Welcome to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, hope you uh, enjoy your stay here. We certainly love it. We're very, very excited to welcome you all here today and share our unique boutique, and which is our clothing closet. It's not a closet, it's a classroom. And, um, and our community room. We spend a lot of time in both those areas and um, we're happy to share them with you today. We understand that there's multiple factors that influence student learning. We also know the importance of multiple pathways to success. Schools and communities must take time to build relationships, understand each other's shared interests and needs. We're very, very fortunate to have partners with agencies like the City Mission, with Sikkim, with Tom in particular from Sikkim. I text Tom all the time, and uh, at a moment's notice, he'll jump in the car and bring groceries to a family in need. Thank you, Tom. I told you we were going to be best friends when I met you. <laughs> and um, Girls Inc. and several other, other agencies that um, are partners with us. My daughters and me, Angela Williams. Um, so we're very excited to continue growing our partnerships with all of you and serving the great people of Schenectady. So I'm introducing Mr. Watson. So Mr. Watson is a parent of um, two beautiful children in our school. They were the ones holding the ribbons, Kiara Ritter and Kimari Watson. And Mr. Watson is going to come here and speak about his experience as a parent at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a community school. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bear with me. <laughs> That's my baby. Um, it's my first time ever, you know, standing here. So. Um, you with family, brother. <laughs> um, the after-school program here at um in Schenectady, I want to say to me, it's a good program. It um, for my kids, they 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 like the program and they come home to tell me about it and especially after the COVID thing, it gives them a chance to reunite with other kids and, you know, find a place and, you know, be together as one. And as far as the school goes, I've been coming here, the principal, she's, she's great, the staff that she has, they're very warm and when I come to drop and pick off the kids and my kids are very happy here. So as far as being a parent to kids here in the after school program, I really think it's beneficial because it gives them a place to be after school and, you know, wind down a little bit, I guess, after school all day. So, but it, it helps them too, you know what I mean? It helps the community to grow. I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm happy that they selected me as a, a dad to be here for my kids and be part of the program and everything. So I just want to be up here to say thank you for everything and you're yeah, doing a great job. All right. Okay, this is the first 
student right here. She's the first person I thought of when I wanted somebody to speak, one of my students. This is India Boyke. She is the captain of our <laughs> step team. She's got sass and spunk, and she is ready to speak to all of you fine people. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ilya Boyki and I go to MLK Elementary School. I like it here because I was able to be to go to the parade and I was in the step team. I also like it here because of the of the staff. One staff is Ms. Fogg. She is helping kids who are hungry. I also like it here because this school wants us to feel like a family. And I like the after school too. Okay. Have, okay. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. Oh!